walking around the city in a pants Dragging both my feet around and dreaming of escaping My heart is reaching out till it connects Waiting in the open where I feel so unprotected And you are I think we are gonna get the speech started, everybody. Uh, as most of y'all probably know, I'm Jared. I'm Jace's older brother and his best man. Uh, and I promise I'll try to keep my speech brief because I know we have several. One of them is from my mother. And if you know my mom, uh, she may have been an English teacher for a very long time, but brevity has yet to enter her vocabulary. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, as I said, I'm Jace's older brother, and uh, I will say there is nothing better than having a little brother. Because when you have a younger brother, you have a built-in teammate all the time, whether they like it or not. Uh, and honestly, little brothers are the best kind of teammate to actually have, because, uh, especially when they're young, because they're the kind of teammate that you can have when, say, your kids and you come up with this new sort of risky game called diving board that you're gonna play <laughs> in the living room. And having a little brother teammate means that he gets to test the game out first. And when he ends up in the emergency room with a broken leg, you realize that you know he took one for the team and he uh, realized I need to go back to the drawing board on my games. <laughs> Aside from uh, taking injuries for me, uh, having a little brother also meant always having someone to play Power Rangers with in the backyard be Robin to my Batman on Halloween, uh, play hockey after watching hours of Mighty Ducks, or be the lookout for our parents whenever we're watching shows we're not supposed to on MTV. Uh, my senior year of high school, we actually got to be real teammates, uh, and we got to see the whole gamut of what being sports teammates was like. We went 10-0 and in football and turned right around when 0-10 in district and basketball. Uh, so we have seen the highs and lows of sports teams together. Uh, like football and basketball, though, uh, marriage is a team sport. And uh, Angela, Jason and I may have been a great team through the years, but you are truly his perfect partner. Uh, I am excited that you're joining our family team as my new sister-in-law, and I know that Jace could not have picked a better person to spend the rest of his life with. Jace, it's been a pleasure growing up as your older brother, and I am so proud of the man that you've grown up to be. I'm lucky to have you as a little brother, and you have chosen an amazing woman, and I know you're going to be a fantastic husband. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, from stadiums to sleigh scopes, guys, I've gotten to see how you are always there for each other. You're supportive of each other. You pick each other up. You make each other laugh, and you all complement each other perfectly in every way other than showing up on time. <laughs> <laughs> You two are truly the most formidable of teams. Uh, starting out as college kids about 10 years ago, we got to watch you two grow up together. Uh, and I look forward to getting to watch you grow old together. So here's to Jason and Angela. Thank you. Okay, well, Angela's in trouble because she didn't tell me I was making a speech, and I'm terrified of speeches, but it's easy to talk about her because she's incredible. I wish you were in front of me so I could talk to you instead of every, instead of all of Jason's Just talk to me. <laughs> talk to Just say what you want to say to her. Talk to, I'll talk to Madison. Well, I feel like everybody here knows Angela and Jace, but if you don't know Angela, I can obviously speak for Angela. Um, you know, she is just an incredible person. She's extremely kind, um, forgiving. She's forgiven me more times than, than I deserve. And she is just going to be the perfect first lady for a football team that I'm sure Jace will be a head coach of someday. Is that what you're going to be? Yeah, we'll see. Is that the goal, the a head lady. coach? Yeah. Or, <laughs> is that what you're called? Yeah. Yes. 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 Exactly. Mrs. Exactly. Head Coach. Yeah. Um, but whenever um, Angela started dating Jace, we were in college, and I asked her, you know, I, I went to a different school, so it's not that I didn't know Jace, it was that I didn't go to the same school, so I asked, 
so what, what do you like about him? And she was like, well, he's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> and I know she still thinks the same. She's like, he's the hottest person I've ever met. So uh, I won't embarrass you, but what I've learned about Jace since then, other than Jace being tall and, and hot, is that um, he's very patient and um, he supported my friend who is, you know, also like a sister to me. Um, through some very tough times and through some very exciting times um, in her life, um, just in a way that only your partner can do, right? Friends can only be there for you so much, and, and I know that I'm very thankful that Jace has been there for you in, in ways that I can't sometimes, even though you are like a sister to me, and I, I appreciate that so much. I've seen y'all through the crazy times in college when we were terrorizing Abilene Christian <laughs> University. Um, and, and then through that, y'all have grown and you've, and you've gone through the times of, um, you know, after college when life is changing so yeah. much. And then you've done long distance and you've chosen each other over and over. And I think there's something to say about people who get, you know, engaged after six months and, oh, they're so in love and, and, and they get married. But also there's something to say about people who've been together for so long before they get married and they've just chosen each other. And that's what marriage is about, right? It's about just choosing somebody over and over. And you've already done that. So I just, I'm, I just know that y'all are going to be successful. Um, and happy together, and I'm just very happy for y'all. I love you. <laughs> yes, exactly. He's me and all I love friends. you. And the only other thing that I did want to say, um, Gary Kirkpatrick, he's not here. Um, neither is Billy or or Granddaddy, and um, they're very intimidating men, right? So I think it's my job to intimidate Jace a little bit. It works. <laughs> you did it. Um, I know. Uh, no, but uh, all I want to say is I know y'all love each other so much and life happens, but if there is ever a time where things don't work out, just return her to us <laughs> safely because we love her so much. And, and that's all I wanted to say. I think that's what a dad would say, right? Return her to us her in perfect shape and we'll take her back. Okay? We love you. Hi everyone, I'm Katie. Um, if I don't know you, I'm Angela's matron of honor. Um, I have known Angela for 26 years now, so we met when we were just three years old. Um, so, safe to say, I literally do not remember or know a life without Angela. We've gone through every single stage of life together from Girl Scouts and friendship bracelets to being in each other's weddings. Um, she was in my wedding a few years ago, and now I'm so honored to be um, a part of hers as well. Um, I could honestly, I could talk all night about how amazing I think Angela is. I'm not going to. I'll just talk for a minute. But there's a couple of things that I think are so amazing about Angela. Um, the first is just how selfless and giving of a friend she is. Um, you know, no matter what Angela is going through in her own life at the time, because she has gone through a lot, but she never hesitates to drop whatever she's doing and be there for me and her other friends during, you know, some of our hard times as well. Um, I became a mom a few years ago, and I've, it's easy to feel like you kind of drift away from your friends who aren't moms yet and aren't in that stage of life, but Angela was a friend I never felt like that with. I feel like she's always taken such a genuine interest in my family. She makes a point to come and visit me, ask how I'm doing, bring me Starbucks. Um, just little things that are, are small, but they just mean a lot and just show that she truly does care. Um, another thing about Angela is um, how much she shows up for her friends. So we always think of Angela as like the ultimate party planner. She never misses a chance to celebrate someone else. Um, so if it's a holiday, a birthday, someone's engaged, any life event, Angela's like planning the party, she's got the decorations, um, she's got a gift basket, like she's got everything down. Um, and it just means a lot um, to everyone that she does that. 
Um, she's a very loyal friend as well. Angela, and I have told her this, has more friends than anybody that I know. She was planning more best friends, like not acquaintances, like genuinely good, very close true. friends. Yeah. We were, when she first got engaged and she was planning the wedding, she was like, I think I'm gonna keep it really small. And I was like, you it's can't, impossible. because she could have 500 bridesmaids. I mean, everyone loves Angela, but I think that's just a testament to how amazing of a friend she is and how good she is with just connecting with people. Um, I think that that's just really special. Um, I think of Angela as more than just a best friend. She's my sister. I grew up with only brothers. Um, I've always said she's a sister I never had. She's my second family. My family thinks of her as a daughter. I think of her family the same way. Um, we, I feel like, especially in high school, I pretty much grew up at Angela's house. Um, we would, in high school, do stupid things. We would sneak out of the house and try and break the rules. Jackie would, Jackie would tell me to go home. I would go home and I would come back the next day with my bag packed, ready to do the exact same thing over again. Um, so they've never gotten rid of me. <laughs> but um, I love Angela to death. I'm so honored to be by her side for this day. And um, I know that Jace, you make her so, so happy. And I know that you know this, but you hit the jackpot when it comes to a wife and you are so lucky I know that you know that but I'm gonna say it again um, and I will always support you guys I love you and I wish you all of the best going forward so cheers to the Hudson hello everybody Oh, it does. Oh. That's where you stand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm Robert, Angela's older brother, and uh, I'm going to give a speech tomorrow, but I just wanted to get up here and thank the Gilbert family for planning this. Um, such a special night and such a special event for these two right here that means so much to all of us. Um, Mrs. Gilbert, we don't really know each other that well. Um, but I feel like I know you very well because we're friends on Facebook and I, I see I see what you post I see what you post and the the things you write about my sister mean so much to not only me but my mother and the rest of our family it means so much to us and, and it, it, it it really speaks to the testament of what y'all think about my sister and I want to also thank you from the bottom of my heart for welcoming her into y'all's family. So again, make this super quick. I've got a speech tomorrow uh, written up, but uh, thank y'all so much and thank you for allowing me the opportunity to speak. Oh man, everybody's a little nervous. I will also keep it brief. Um, when I met Jace going into the freshman year of college, I feel like him and I grew up very similarly. We both grew up kind of a 3A high school. We both had really smart, overachieving older brothers. <laughs> so we were both kind of the guys that love sports. And, you know, when I met Jace, ever since I met him, he became one of my best friends. And we've been friends for a really, really long time. Um, I actually met Angela before I met Jace. She was on a college visit to Abilene Christian, like before I even met Jace, and all the things that her friends have said about her is 100% true from what I've noticed as well. Just super kind, loves her friends, and really loyal. And the one thing I'll say about Jace is I've gotten to know him for a really long time, and um, is I would say the number one quality of him is loyalty. Like if he loves you and you're in his friend group, he'll do anything for you. Angela, that's what you're getting with Jace. Is his brother said he's a great teammate, but in reality, like I know Jace has my back through anything I'm ever going through, and he's gonna have your back too. And all of his friends, we love you guys. We're so proud of you guys. And I want to raise a toast to the Hudsons. Yes. Cheers. I'm Dale Gilbreth. Um, I haven't met a lot of you. Uh, I'm I'm not a big guy to circulate and meet everybody in the room or anything, but. 
Um, I'm Jace's stepdad, and sometimes that can be a tough role coming into, but Jace and Jared have, have made it very easy for me. And just speaking of Jace, I've been very proud of the time that, that I've been in that role with him to watch him grow, to grow into the young man that he, he is and is becoming. Um, and then the pride was even more the first time I met Angela and who he chose as his girlfriend, fiance, and now uh, future bride tomorrow. Um, can't tell you how, how much I'm proud of you guys. I love you. And uh, just I pray for a great future for y'all. A long married life with godly love and family. Thank you. Toast to them. Salute. This is harder than what I thought. Right. Going after right. brother and husband. That bringing Jace and Jared into the world has been the most absolute, most joyous thing that I've ever done. And then when Jace's world brought Angela into my world, it was something I've never even been a part of. I don't have sisters and I didn't have daughters. And so she gets all of me whether she wants it or not. <laughs> my friends kid me that I'm just like, Intention to say that she's like my daughter-in-law so that we can do our fashion talks and I can have someone that I can say is truly like my daughter. But I wouldn't be a mom if I didn't have some advice. And I was thinking about how people talk a lot about love languages and everybody's got their love languages and they probably know each other's if dated forever. But I personally have started thinking, I think Self-sacrifice is a love language that everyone knows and everyone understands. And we girls like to do, do the happy wife, happy life. I think that if both of them are sacrificing and trying to make each other happy, it's more happy spouse and happy house. And I think that those two can accomplish that because I've watched them have to do it long distance. I've watched them through career changes and growing up from college kids till now. So I think if anyone knows something about self-sacrifice, above and beyond how the different love languages work in a marriage, I think these two have it. But, um, and Jackie doesn't know I'm gonna bring this up, but tomorrow, we're, Jace and I are gonna dance to a song that I established when he was three and a half years old. Uh, we were at the coast and he and I were walking and, and holding hands and looking for seashells. And he was just walking along with his little curly hair and looked up at me and said, Mom, I do still feel small when I look out at the ocean. And I was like, he's been listening to that song in his little car seat in the back seat, but he's been pondering its meaning. And I was like, being an English teacher, I'm like, he is really breaking down those lyrics. But, um, <laughs> but he was so sweet and looked up at me. And I knew then, I was like, I'll dance with that child someday at his wedding to that song. And then at one of Angela's showers, Jackie was sitting and talking with me, and we were talking about making a video that we're going to play tonight to end the night. And Jackie said, I have one request. Could y'all play uh, I Hope You Dance for when Angela's high school pictures come up because she and her dad dedicated that song to Angela for her sweet 16. Well, Jackie didn't know I had a connection to that song from my little boy. I didn't know that she had the connection to her girl. And so I think it's appropriate that it's on the video and that I get to hear it again tomorrow night and dance with my three and a half year old. And it'll have meaning with Angela and Jace growing up. And I, I just couldn't believe that Jackie told me that. I sat there and I didn't want to tell her that, it's all, that it'll be on the video, but it has a connection with Jace also. So thank you for telling me that. And just last, I just want to thank everyone that brave the heat and the traffic to come and honor our two precious kids. And tomorrow will be a blast watching them finally uh, uh, make it official and that I get my, my fashionable daughter. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I appreciate the, the role that everyone has played in their lives. And I forgot my little toast, yep. but let's toast. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Hello, I am Leah Cordy. I went to ACU with Angela and Jace, and we have done quite a lot of growing together. 
You know, most of you might think that they met through athletics. Um, I'm sorry to tell you that that is not true. Angela, I'm about to expose this a little bit. So, <laughs> they actually met at the world famous Bean. And if y'all don't know what that is, that is the cafeteria at ACU. So Angela and I would happen to just find ourselves in the Bean at 6.30, right when the football boys were to come in. Not that we had memorized number 23's schedule or anything. Um, that couldn't be it. Um, but what I just wanted to say about Jace and Angela is, yes, we have been through a lot. Um, Jace has always been a constant. And he has always been there to, even though he was part of, you know, the you know, things we got into, he was always there to kind of stand up for us a little bit, yep. make sure we weren't getting in too much trouble, including the time Angela and I actually lit my hair on fire at David Gwynn's lake house, <laughs> and Jace put it out. Um, so, Angela, I am so happy to leave you in the hands of Jace, because I know that he will continue to be your covering and your protection. Love you. <laughs> Literally um, First of all, thank everybody for being here. Obviously, we love every, each and every one of y'all, um, or you wouldn't be here. Y'all have all played a huge role <laughs> in our lives, whether that's being a good friend to us, being a good family member to us, always having our backs, helping us out in, in, in hard times and things like that. Every single one of y'all have been here for us, and it means the world to us, and that's why you're here tonight. Um, I will say, so going off of Leah's story, that's not how we met. That was not the first time that I ever saw Angela. The first time, and I'll, I'll expose us even more, the first, the first time I ever saw or I ever laid eyes on Angela was at a party. Okay, is uh, like 18th Street. Yeah, it's like her first week in college. 18th. Yeah, 18th, like 18th yeah. Street. Brandon. Yeah, yeah. it was very, yeah, very, very early in the year. I remember I saw her and I was like, "Who is that? Never seen her before." And then just like kind of asking guy around, like, "Hey, who's that?" And they're like, "Oh, it's I was a sophomore at the time, uh, and she was a, she was a freshman." And they're like, "Oh, that's just uh, that's just one of the freshmen. That's a new girl." And I just sat there. And I was like, "Golly, like how?" <laughs> How do I how do I possibly approach someone like that? Like she was, she looks like she does now. She looks great. <laughs> so I was just like, all I had to do really, my strategy is like five minutes. Be as cool as you possibly can <laughs> for five minutes. If I can play it cool for five minutes, I can walk away and I can go do something else, and she'll think I'm cool for the rest of her life. So that's and that was the only goal. That, that was it. That was like I just want her to think that I'm cool, and then I'm and then after that, like the rest, uh, who, who knows? But Long story short, it worked. I, I, the five minutes. I, I did. That was the yeah. I did the. I did the five minutes, and I I I, I put all my chips on the table, and the five minutes worked. And then now we're here today. Yeah. Long story. Very long story yeah. short. Yeah. Now you see us here today, and uh, honestly, we love all of y'all with the bottom of our hearts. Seriously, we we love each and every one of y'all. We're so excited that you are here. We're so excited to see y'all tomorrow. Let's, let's just have a great time tomorrow. I do want to say uh, specifically to my mom, Dana. Y'all already heard her talk. She put all this together. She did a great job. My family, everybody, um, Jackie, if, like at the wedding tomorrow, she and Angela and all them, they put all that together. So they, they've just, they've worked tirelessly for months now and, and, and they've just knocked it out of the park and, and, and I couldn't ask to be into to marry into a better family and uh i just let's get married i can't wait to yeah, be yeah. i can't wait for this to be a family so cheers Thank you.